Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. I'm your host, Wally, and today we are taking the Texas Sports Trail and visiting some state parks. We are at St. Angelo State Park, the northern unit. It's divided into two, and make sure you always have your trail map, your water, which is very important, some form of shade, either a hat or a baseball cap or something. You know, because the sun does beat down on you, it's pretty rough. A walking stick to kick away snakes or bugs or anything in a shirt that fits. And then you're ready to go. I'm in the north unit, like I said. The park is pretty big, it's divided into two sections. You can't really get to the northern unit unless you leave the southern unit. And you have to need to go through a gate, so you need to tell them at the southern unit you're going to the northern unit and they will give you um, the combination. But this northern unit was beautiful. Look at all that cactus. I'm a sucker for cactus. And they were just crying, which is what cactus do. Um, there were no prickly pears though. The wind was pretty bad. You can sometimes hear it here in the audio. But the trail was pretty flat, which is good. And it took me to this dry riverbed. And once I got there, I started looking for the fabled dinosaur tracks, which there should be there somewhere along the dry riverbed. I kept looking and looking. I think these are it. I'm not quite sure. I wish they were labeled or it would tell me, like, this is what they look like. So I kept walking and looking for them. And then I thought maybe these were it. I mean, they look trackish, right? I don't know. I spent a good half hour just roaming around looking for tracks with a shirt that doesn't fit. But at least it was maroon, just like my alma mater. Then I headed over to the southern unit. The time I was there was burnt. I'm not sure if it was a controlled burn or an accidental burn, but it was also pretty dry and the lake levels were really low. I think the, le the lake is at one third what it really should be. There's the dam that is supposed to dam up the creek or river or whatever it is that's making this and you can see the waves are moving pretty fast because of the wind if there's one thing there was it was wind and I always like passing through the campsite so I can see all the people camping and imagine myself 10 years from now just getting a camper and going to state parks and living there having no home you get to drive through some of the trails and as you can see it was burnt everywhere then I was driving on this road, which I'm not sure is a road anymore. Because as you can see, it was sort of overgrown. <coughs> but I still did it. Then I reached the highest point of the park. And you can see the big valley below. See some hilltops up there. And you can hear the wind. It was very windy. And you can see how dry it is down there grass is yellow. Let's see how dusty and ashy it is because of the of the fire that they had. And there's some buffalo which wouldn't get close to me because they're afraid of me. Even though I am a friend. But it is kind of pretty to look at. It's a pretty park. I wonder what it looks like when it's nice and green and full. Um, there's that earthen dam again. And then I went back a couple months later. As you can see, there's been more green. It's that same valley we saw before. The dirt is red, which I kind of like. You can see more of it now that the ashes aren't there to make it dark and black. But you can see the greenery starting to return. 
It's no longer as yellow and dry as it was the last time I was there. So I'm glad I went back to look at it when it was more in its natural state without it having been burnt. And I like just looking at, at the distance and just being amazed by nature. Anyways, I uh, hope you've been enjoying my videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go out there and visit some of your state parks. Thank you. Bye-bye.